Hello friends, welcome to the Cold War Prepper, and this is the weekly Prepper Pantry Haul uh, for the week ending Saturday, January 13th, uh, 2024. So, um, I, I'll tell you what's not shown here first. I've got uh, two gallons of liquid paraffin, and that's going to be for the lantern that we have. In case we lose uh, electricity, we'll have a lantern that we can... Uh, uh, burn inside for light. It also produces a little bit of heat. Of course, anytime you have an open flame, it's going to produce a little bit of heat. We also got in two steel galvanized uh, buckets, and that's so that we can go out to the uh, grill out back and either process wood or, or charcoal and heat bricks and or stones and then put them in the uh, uh, bucket and bring that bucket inside and put it on the door to the stove uh, the oven, and uh, use that as residual, residual heat in case we lose power. Uh, so I did want to get those two galvanized buckets in as well. Um, and then, so yeah, so I got the paraffin that's not shown. The buckets aren't shown. They're just too big to bring in. Uh, but anyhow, uh, so food-wise, we've got uh, half a pound of zucchini, freeze-dried zucchini, uh, number 10 can of sweet corn, number 10 can of peas, a can of cream, cream of chicken soup and a can of cream of mushroom soup. Uh, one can of Spam, and this is the bacon uh, Spam. Now, I will tell you that I ordered uh, six cans of um, Yoder's bacon off of a site, and uh, each it was three cans for $36, about $12 a can. So I ordered six for $72, and then that order went through. Then I got a notice from PayPal that my automatic deduction had been set up. So I went in and checked it, and sure enough, they had set it up so that I was getting uh, six cans of um, Yoder's bacon every day. And I said, oh, no, we're not going to do that. So I canceled that. Uh, we'll see whether or not I get the original six cans that I was charged for. When I went to the website for the company, it turned out that it was a Dutch company, and it was under GoFundMe. So, I mean, this is all really suspicious. I may have to go to uh, PayPal and let them know that uh, I, I don't want to make this charge or whatever, but really strange that they would set it up so that uh, there was a $72 deduction every day on my credit card. I, I did not like that at all. So beware uh, when you're buying things online, especially when you go through, uh, you know, um, a search engine and, and look for what you want. Um did get one jar of instant coffee to add to the uh, uh, food pantry. In our warming situation, we're, because we do have a freeze warning, it's going to get down into the uh, teens here over the course of the next 48 hours. And uh, so we have some butane fuel cartridges. These go for that one burner indoor stove. Uh, I've got two of them. One of them came with my canned cooker. And uh, I got a video out on that earlier today on the uh, scalloped uh, potato and ham soup. And that's what we're fixing for dinner this evening. So we'll be using the canned cooker indoor on the stove. But uh, these fuel the indoor stove, one burner stove. So I uh, picked up four more cans of that. I uh, picked up a uh, bottle of isopropyl alcohol, 91%. That's going to be for the uh, tabletop uh, alcohol burner that's in a, 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 a safe concrete stone masonry uh, container so that uh, that can help heat as well if we need it. And then, of course, I got the uh, safe heat chafing fuel. So the, the 12-pack, each one of these is six hours. So this is basically one full day's uh, worth of uh, fuel for the InstaFire Vesta. Uh, which is the home heating system. And I did a video on that earlier as well. So I told a friend of mine about this, uh, oh gosh, two years ago, and he uh, had one during Snowmageddon, Icemageddon of 2022. And uh, he was saying that when it was like 18 degrees outside by having his Instafire in his room, uh, in his bedroom, he kept his bedroom at like 54 degrees, 52, 54 degrees, somewhere around in there. But it's a fantastic little system. Strongly recommend it. Uh, get one. We did get a folding saw so we could process more wood. This also will fit in my bug out bag if I need to. So um, it's just a utility folding saw. We did get in more wicks for our uh, candle making opportunities. 
So <clears throat> one, something that you may not be aware of is that wicks are designed based on a couple of things. Uh, number one, they're based on the diameter of the candle that you're going to be making. So for example, um, these are all for two inch and below diameter. So if it's more than a two inch diameter uh, candle that you're gonna be using, you probably need two of these. The second thing you have to take into consideration is the height of the candle. So we have some three inch tall and some nine inch tall uh, candle wicks. Um, and then these are four or five inch, I believe, five inch. Uh, and then the third thing you have to consider is the material that you're actually burning. There are wicks specific for beeswax, for soy wax, and for paraffin, uh, because each one has different melting properties. So you want to make sure you have the right can, uh, uh, wick for the right substance that you're burning as well. So that's everything we got for prepping for this week. So uh, remember that we're all in this together so we can come out the other side together. Please be kind, polite, and respectful to each other because togetherness is the key. Bye-bye.